the water cycle. The water cycle, also known as the hydrologic cycle and the hydrological cycle, is the cycle that describes the continuous movement of water on, above and below the surface of the earth. But where does the water cycle start? Let's choose an easy place, here, in the sea. We know that the sun is hot, and from the sun we receive heat that radiates to earth, which makes the sea warm up, which starts the process of evaporation, where the seawater evaporates, causing the liquid water to change to a gas. This gas then cools, resulting in condensation forming, the gas cooling back to a liquid, it condensing to make clouds, which might eventually cause it to rain, or, if cold enough, maybe hail or snow, these collectively known as precipitation. The water might collect at the surface, making puddles or lakes, and eventually collect in the sea. Or a surface flow will happen, with streams and rivers all flowing downwards to collect in the sea. With the sun emitting heat, liquid turns to gas again, starting the process of evaporation again. Alternatively, instead of surface flow, there could be ground flow, which happens when the water percolates into the ground, forming the ground flow, which flows towards the sea. And evaporation does not just happen from the warmer surface of our seas. It can happen from the surface of lakes and rivers too, with water also released from plants and animals by the processes of respiration and transpiration. The water cycle, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, surface flow, ground flow. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, surface and ground flow. Please do watch our videos on the rock cycle, the carbon cycle and the nitrogen cycle. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!